welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the MAC Taste of Bubbly Mini Lipstick Kits. If you do want to see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I'll do my best to reply back. Each set retails for $25 at Ulta Beauty, Macy's, Nordstrom, and MAC Online. I do want to read a little bit about this set on MAC's website. A limited edition lip kit of little lipstick trios in all new holiday exclusive sparkling wine and rosé shades or fan fave bestseller shades. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says MAC up at the top. You have a picture of all three shades included. On the bottom it says Taste of Bubbly Mini Lipstick Kit. This shade is called Rosé. Up at the top, this retails for $25, but it's a $42 value. On this side of the packaging, you have the list of ingredients for the amplified lipstick. On the other side, you have the list of ingredients for the matte lipstick. And then on the back, you have a picture of the three lip colors that are included. Underneath that, you have the ingredients of the Luster Glass Lipstick. It states it was made in Canada. Here's what the inside looks like. It comes wrapped up in this tissue paper. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says MAC in the middle. Same thing on the other side. It says MAC. I love the details. This shade is called How Bow Can You Go? It's an amplified cream finish. If you were curious, it's the same size as their Powder Kiss Lipstick Bolt set. If you have not seen my review on these lipsticks, I'll leave it right over here in the cards if you're interested. How Bow Can You Go is described as a mid-tone pink with blue undertones. That's super pigmented with one swipe. Here's what the shade in How Bow Can You Go looks like. This shade is really beautiful. The next shade is called Making Spirits Bright. This is a luster glass finish. Making Spirits Bright is described as a light pink with multicolor pearl. Another beautiful shade. Here's what the shade in Making Spirits Bright looks like. I love this formula. The last shade in this set is called Rosé Bubbles. Rosé Bubbles is described as a reddish pink. This is a matte formula. Again, very pretty. Here's what the shade in Rosé Bubbles looks like. This shade is very pretty. Here's what all three shades look like in the Rosé kit. The next kit is called Sparkling Wine. Again, we have the list of ingredients listed on this side. Same thing on the other side. Up at the top, it retails for $25, but it's a $42 value. On the back, we have another list of ingredients. And then down at the bottom, it states it was made in Canada. The first shade in this set is called Burnt Sugar. Burnt Sugar is described as a yellow caramel nude. This shade might be too light for my skin tone, but let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. Here's what the shade in Burnt Sugar looks like. This shade is too light for me to wear on its own. I do want to see what it looks like paired with a dark brown lip liner. I applied a chocolate brown lip liner off camera. Now let's reapply the shade in Burnt Sugar. Here's what the shade in Burnt Sugar looks like paired with a liner. It looks so much better. The next shade is called Sugar Spiked. This is a luster glass formula. Sugar Spiked is described as a nude with multicolor pearl. Another beautiful shade. Here we have the shade in Sugar Spiked. This shade is gorgeous. The last shade in this set is called Dulce de Hooray. Dulce de Hooray is described as a deep, cool nude. Another stunning shade. Here's what the last shade in Dulce de Hooray looks like. This shade is gorgeous. 
Here's what all six shades look like swatched on the back of my hand. For $25, I think these lip sets are worth it. I loved all three finishes included in this set. Let me know in the comments down below which lip set was your favorite. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.